people, 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 people. Keep pass a suck, pass, say what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds. Now, people, we realize that Jamaica is a very violent place. Every day we get up, we see people are losing them life. People get robbed, raped, lele, blue, blah, bling. So therefore, I've decided to make a difference. I've decided to put a new twist on the news. Something a little more lighter, more enlightening, a little more humorous. And I said to myself, wow, I just got this picture. And what would be even more appropriate than a picture like this? People, if you look at your screen, you're going to see two individuals. The person on the right is Lisa Hanna, your politician, PNP. The person on the left is a son of that said lady. However, a caption also came with this picture and it says, What a way Lisa and her son or Lisa's son are grow favor Andrew. Politics strong. Good morning. So people, when I look at this picture, I said to myself, I thought that the PNP and the JLP were uniting. I thought that this was Andrew Holness and Lisa Anna, kind of like Manly and Siaga back in the 80s when they were uniting PNP and JLP. It is a good look. However, only come to realize that now, man, this person looks younger. This person looks more vibrant. This person looks like he's probably in them 20s or so. Young you, this is not Andrew Holness. we stress out half of politics. And then when I look at the caption and the caption say, What a way Lisa's son grew up for favor, Andrew. Politics strong. And I said to myself, Hold on a minute. Me never know say Lisa Anna have a baby for Andrew Holness. Twin, Siamese, identical twin. Something, in a something, something look right. Is this child looks influence of the fact that Lisa Anna had aspirations of entering politics. So therefore, the picnic start grow for look like the prime minister. Or the future prime minister because this boy born before Andrew Holness became the prime minister. So I said to myself, I never know, say, you can have aspirations of being something and then the pitney star look like the person that you aspire to be, a politician. Now, people, I don't tell a lie. When I look at this and zoom in the picture and look, the youth brown, the youth have on the same kind of ears, him have the same nose, him have the same smile, the same demeanor. Him even wear glasses like Andrew Wallace. I may have said to myself, no sir, something in a something. Something alright. Somebody go at some sort of Obia man and get this picnic for look like Andrew Wallace and people. Let's not get it twisted, let's not get it misconstrued. There are rumors running around that Mr. Holness have a couple of little picnic running around that is not Miss Juliet Holness picnic. So therefore, and me say so, me just put it out there. So therefore, don't blame the messenger, blame the message. So people at the end of the day, like me say, I have no sorts of proof that yes, they did some sorts of DNA tests. And them go a Mari, and them go a Jerry Springer, and them go a one of them mix up channel. And then when them wait and it come back, the paternity test, them I say, yeah, the Angel Pickney, people, I have no evidence to substantiate these claims, but me just I say, just looking at the picture at face value, the boy kind of look like Mr. Wholeness. Me not nah tell no lie. Unless, of course, and then again, people like me say, me no know the papa, me no know the father. So maybe the father and Andrew Wallace are family and them never know. Maybe a Andrew twin brother, Siamese, 
um, identical brother, me not really know me just as say. When me look on the picture, me think say Anjo she a hug up. I thought that this was Anjo's son and maybe them have bring your son to politics. They are something people. Me no know what could have happened. However, this is just too much for somebody to overlook and people, you know, some are fast already. Now, like I said, Mrs. Lisa Anna is a lady that I like. A lady that is very beautiful. And a lady that, yeah, if you're thinking about somebody to date in a politics, she would be it in a, any place of the world. She has all the looks, she has all the ambition, and she has a little cash. So therefore, I am telling a lie, I kind of like Lisa still, Mrs. Anna. However, me know say Lisa have a husband. She just get married, I think, a couple of years ago. Don't quote me on this. I am not too much into politics, so I might be speaking ignorantly. However, I hope that by me doing this video, I will not get any sort of lawsuit. I hope that this does not mess up my chances with Lisa Anna because I'm not going to lie. If I have a dream over some sort of politician, maybe she might be the only female politician that is. She will be the only one. However, me just I, say, I hope that when she sees this, she takes it in good humor. She don't get in her feelings. I hope that the Prime Minister, Mr. Andrew Holness, don't get in her feelings and send CTAC to come look for me because people me never mean anything. I have to also understand. I grew up in the American culture, Jamaican. So therefore, once you are a public figure, once something goes out there, I did not start it, I did not initiate it, me just I say, me just I follow through to what I've seen out there and people, me not tell no lie, the boy I look like, Andrew Holness, point blank and period. Now the next thing that is popping in the news, it is a lack of professionalism. Of the JCF members of the JCF and in extension members of the JDF, our military. Um, and this is based on a video that I saw the other day, of which a YouTube blogger, social media personality, he was rushed by some poor poor, based on the information it is said that. He was on his way to some sort of river, some sort of beach setting. When he reached the entrance of that facility, there were some popo park in a them jeep, maybe about three of them. They were having some sort of meal, some sort of food. So the youth said, tote him on, them ignore him. Him tote him on again. One of the popo look out through the glass. Ignore him. So, him realize uh, the poor poor them start get agitated because them I wonder I owe this I told them for come out of the way, which is kind of ironic because if you park at the wrong place where there's any sorts of yellow line, them want ticket you, and them want you know act up. So therefore, it is only right if you are blocking some sorts of entrance to a facility that is for the public. You should have picked an appropriate place from start. So therefore, the poor poor wrong right there. So, so anyway, the youth say when him realize that them kind of get agitated, him take out him phone, him take out him camera, and him start video. Him make them know say him the live because he said that he was in fear of his life. Now people based on the video that I was watching, the poor poor come out of the Jeep with him tall rifle. Him walk up to the youth face and box out the phone out of the man and we could just hear the argument. So people I am going to let you see the initial Thing when the poor poor roll up on the man and then I am going to let you hear. I am not going to show you where the poor poor slap out the phone. I am going to cut the video just short of that. And then I am going to let you listen to the audio 
of these poor poor pretty much threatening the man that listen. You take man for fool. You take man for this, you take man for that. You are this up poor poor. Where you video tape of for? Where you want to send the video, go give you G-U-N man friend them so them can K-I-L-L way. So people, take a listen, take a look at the edited version just to put everything in perspective, in context, and then I'll give my piece. The man on the road, I'm going to ask you to look away. They saw him a beer. The man then checked me and said, Anyone, they missed that video. They said, You know what I mean? So they know that go. You think I'm joking, my man? You tell me, tell life, man. I'm charging for the whole party. Lift the way the phone and move it. I'm begging you, do. Share that video, I beg you. You hear me? I tell you. Know. Listen to the video, I play the video. Tibu and I bust up your face. Ray, 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 go fuck your mother, go do. Now, people. There's two ways to look at this. First thing, you cannot block and prevent somebody from entering any sorts of premises. So therefore, you was wrong right there. The youth was going about his business. The youth did not display any sorts of criminal intention. He did not put your lives at risk. The next thing, as a public servant, we as the public have the right to videotape you. You as the poor poor have no sorts of rights to box out anybody's phone. Unless, of course, they were disturbing some sorts of crime scene. That was not the case. The next thing, you are saying that the man have videotape you. We send the video to him G-U-N-M-A-N friend. People. Unless they had a history before that and the poor poor no say yes this man link with that gang or this gang this man have affiliation people based on the video I have no information that that was the case or the poor poor was privy to that it seems as if they were just using Sykes now what was even most disturbing is when they were threatening the man that they are going to do this they may go lick him down. They may go pie pie him up. And even in part of the audio, you could hear the poor poor said to the man, Listen, me will lie pa you. Me will lock you up. Me put this pa you. Me do that. Me do that. Me do this. People, that is very inappropriate behavior for any sorts of poor poor at any time against any legal law abiding citizen of Jamaica. I realize with a lot of these poor poor that them use a broad brush for paint everybody. From your kind of dark, from you know look like the Matalan, you know look like the infrastructure people, you know look like the ISA, you know look like the double H I T E man, you get a different treatment whether you are criminal or whether you are a legal law abiding citizen. So people, that is stereotyping. That is what we call prejudice. It should not happen. You cannot get in your feelings. You cannot make because you interpret a situation to be like this. So I just I say, you have to treat everything on a case-by-case -case basis. Use professionalism. You cannot be treating a law-abiding citizen just like you treat the common criminal out there. It is wrong. And I know that you would not stop certain people. Because of how they look. Because of the perception that you have in your head. Say, this man have money. Or this man might be from uptown. Or this man might be influential in a society. We never see that happen. As a matter of fact people. Here is the next thing. When it comes to these poor poor, and this is the concept that I use, you have to realize, say, listen, a lot of them, them stress out, and that is no sorts of excuse. A lot of them have all sorts of problems. A lot of them don't have anybody, any example, role models to go by, because them see them squad here act just like that. So therefore, they think that it is normal. They think that it is okay. 
So I said to myself, if and when ever I am stopped by the poor poor, I know that, listen, a lot of time them aggressive. So therefore, I am not going to fight fire with fire. I am going to remain calm, even though sometimes it might be hard. And people, here is the thing. Whenever you as a legal law-abiding taxpaying citizen is going about your business and somebody, even the poor poor, wants to violate you, it is kind of hard for you to remain cold because you know say, you're not doing anything wrong. And the worst thing is wrong, accusation. So therefore, this youth kind of felt as if his life was in danger. So this youth decided he was going to videotape. When him realized that the man them get X on him, him start to flare up to. So therefore, them a flare up, him a flare up. However, people, here's the thing in a Jamaica. The poor poor always has the advantage. The poor poor have that badge. The poor poor have that G-U-N. Three of them. And chances are, if something go down, even if they are wrong, the next two are going to back up the next one. And people... I can't vouch for anybody. I just I speak in general. I don't know the two other persons that were with him. However, I did not hear them telling him, Stop, this is wrong. This is incorrect. So people, I just I say, and this is my advice to people, youths out there, especially if you're rich, especially if you have the color, if you have the clout, make sure say, you remain calm because you will lose your life and you will get zero justice. That is just how Jamaica run. So therefore, who know better, do better. Take heed. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos, straight to the point, no sorts of beating around the bush. Show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing. That is the way that YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded persons like yourself. And people, word to the wise. Whenever you are rising in life, there's always going to be a set of vipers. When they look at your potential, they realize that your ceiling is in the stratosphere. Because of their insecurity and hate, they realize that, listen, their ceiling is in the cellar, in the abyss of hell. So therefore, for them to feel as if they are up, they are going to do everything within their means to bring you down. Point blank and period.